World Middleweight Championship. Unusually for a modern day fighter, Mad Dog's bite is worse than his bark. But as you'll see, he still refuses to growl. 12 rounds of action, we have a unanimous decision. The winner and new champion, Wayne Mad Dog Elkhart. For the first time in almost a century, a world boxing belt resides in Birmingham. Meet Wayne Mad Dog Elcock, the new WBU middleweight champion. One hand and daughter Chelsea in the other, Elcock received his homecoming at Birmingham City on Monday. Triumph, but not without tragedy. Obviously, certain things along the way have, uh, have changed my life to a big degree. I think mean, the first off was, well, to be fair, I hadn't boxed. I would knocked the amateur boxing on the head for a, for a hell of a long time. And, uh, Three yeah. years in total, just doing my day job and just going out on the on the booze and getting myself into loads of trouble. But my friend, uh, who was really close to me, I'd known for a hell of a long time. He, he passed away and uh, well, he committed suicide. At the time, we were saying that we were gonna we were gonna get back down the gym because he was one of those that was saying, "Wayne, you know, you have got loads of talent. We, we, why don't we go back to the gym?" After that, and my father was killed in a car accident, which was uh, was devastating. To be fair, he was a major part in in my boxing. And he was a major reason why he sort of kept me, kept my feet on the ground and kept me working really, and showed me that there's still a lot more to go. It's, uh, it's, it's gutting really that he's not here today to sort of see what you know what, what's coming in the end. Soon as you're the mad dog, yeah. Look at me and growl. <laughs> uh, I can't do that, mate. I feel a right twat, <laughs> to be honest with you. <laughs> Good lad, that he's certainly not, and I wasn't going to tell him even if I thought so anyway. Good lad, great prospect.